In the early hours of March the 23rd, 2009, FedEx Flight 80 on a routine cargo run from Guangzhou, China, was approaching Narita International Airport in Japan. But what should have been a standard landing quickly turned catastrophic. Since commercial aviation began, many jet crashes have claimed lives, including innocent people on the ground. Numerous planes were completely destroyed, and when adding cargo jets like FedEx 80, the numbers are even more shocking. Stay tuned to discover how this tragic flight became one of aviation's most terrifying disasters. Hello everyone and welcome back to Infinite Altitudes. Please like and subscribe to our channel for exciting content in aviation. FedEx Flight 80 was being flown by two experienced pilots, Captain Kevin Kyle Mosley and First Officer Anthony Stephen Pino. Captain Mosley was 54 and had over 12,800 hours of flying experience, while First Officer Pino was 49 and he had logged more than 6,300 flying hours. Despite their extensive experience, they were confronted with an unforeseen challenge as they approached Narita. As the MD-11 descended towards runway 34 left, strong gusts of wind began to buffet the aircraft. The weather conditions were far from ideal, with winds reported to be gusting up to 33 knots. The pilots attempted to land the aircraft in these difficult conditions. However, what followed was a series of rapid and disastrous events. The first touchdown was hard, causing the aircraft to bounce back into the air. This phenomenon, known as porpoising, is particularly dangerous, especially for the MD-11, which has a higher-than-usual tendency to become unstable during landings. The pilots attempted to correct the situation, but the second touchdown was even harder, with the nose gear slamming onto the runway. The impact caused the aircraft to bounce once more, this time with even more force. Then, upon the final touchdown, the aircraft's main landing gear collapsed, and the plane veered to the left, skidding off the runway, bursting into flames. The fire rapidly engulfed the plane, and even though emergency helpers arrived right away, both pilots sadly lost their lives in the flames. The crash of FedEx Flight 80 was attributed to a combination of factors, both human and environmental. The primary cause was the decision to continue the landing despite the challenging weather conditions. The pilots were under considerable pressure to land, and the strong gusts made the approach difficult. However, the final and fatal mistake was the inability to manage the aircraft's bounce, which led to the catastrophic porpoising and eventual crash. If you would like to see more stories from the skies, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more aviation content. The MD-11's design also played a role in the crash. Known for its tendency to become unstable during landing, particularly in rough weather, the MD-11 requires precise handling. The aircraft's high-mounted engines and long fuselage can contribute to a higher risk of nose gear impacts during landing, especially if the approach is not carefully managed. This characteristic, combined with the severe weather conditions, created a perfect storm that led to the disaster. It was the second fatal accident involving an MD-11 within a short span of time, raising questions about the aircraft's safety. The crash also resulted in significant disruptions at Narita International Airport, as the runway was closed for several hours, affecting numerous flights. FedEx initiated an internal investigation and worked closely with aviation authorities to determine the exact causes of the crash. The investigation highlighted the need for better training for pilots operating the MD-11, particularly in handling bounces and managing landings in adverse weather conditions. One of the critical lessons was the need for pilots to have a clear understanding of when to abort a landing. In situations where weather conditions are unfavorable, a go-around should always be considered a viable option. The crash also underscored the need for better training in managing the MD-11's unique handling characteristics, particularly during the landing phase. Moreover, the incident led to renewed scrutiny of the MD-11's design with some calling for additional safety measures to mitigate the risks associated with landing the aircraft. While the MD-11 continues to be used in cargo operations, the lessons from Flight 80 have been integrated into pilot training programs to ensure that such a tragedy does not occur again. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more on aviation.